everybody and welcome to buzz worthy tv is i'm your girl lady t so before we get into all this madness concerning kim zoziak's foreclosure i'm going to need you to do a few things for me number one like the video number two subscribe to my channel and number three drop a comment down in the comment section thank you all so much appreciate it Okay, you all. So, I know this story came out a few days ago, probably like Friday or Saturday, but honestly, it's been going, it's been so much going on in regards to my personal life that I just couldn't even do it. I'm not even going to lie. But, I did have a few things to say on the subject, so I decided to, to hey, come on here anyway and hopefully not look like what I've been going through and just get my opinion on this subject so let's get into it y'all let's go okay so i know you all heard about what's going on with kim zoziak um if you haven't heard unfortunately according to a lot of media outlets her home is going to be put on auction as of march 7th and this is also allegedly according to faulting county documents as well okay so her home is going to be up for auction allegedly so it's a very sad situation but unfortunately i just find it ironic that you know kim had so much to say about people particularly in regards to their homes like do you all remember when candy bought her home right before she married Todd. Now, before then, remember, Candy had always lived below her means. She's known for believe, for living below her means, which is one of the reasons why she is one of the most wealthiest housewives. Not only is she a hustler and has many jobs, but she lives below her means. When she got on Housewives, she still had the home that she purchased when she first got her big check when she was with Escape. She just added on to it. Like she added on the studio and some upgrades and everything else. But she never moved up until her and Todd got married. They bought a bigger property. Uh, not only is it a bigger house, but it's also a, a guest house in the back. Like a huge house in the back. You know. So I think it was a good investment. And it, they did great. They got a great deal on it. And then they put their money into renovating it. And if you can tell, Candy and Ty have an amazing home. And I think they made a great decision in regards to buying a home. Now, with that being said, I remember when Kim was pregnant with, I want to say, KJ. And she was still on the Housewives of Atlanta. And she came to Candy's home and was just thumbing her nose up at everything everything was like oh this is the hood i had to lock my little doors when i came up on the freeway and you know just everything that candy you know everything that she was looking at she was looking around candy's house she just looked down on it and i'm just like girl like really like you can't just congratulate her on her home and everything and everything that she got going on in her life you just gotta make her feel bad about what she's planning on doing and i'm like okay and then you know like a few years later when she came back as a friend of the show for season 10 and she was invited to an event at nini's home and her and her daughter came there as nini's guest daughter goes into the bathroom and takes pictures of some sort of bug i don't know what it is because i'm not gonna speculate but somehow or ever it got on social media and it was talking it became this thing that nini had roaches and it got perpetuated by kim 
Now, Kim was like, I didn't start that around social media that you have a house full of roaches. That wasn't me. But I'm. she was like, my daughter just sent me the video because she went in the bathroom at your event and you, she saw some bugs and she just sent the video so I wouldn't go in there because she know I'm definitely afraid of bugs. So she just sent me a text saying, Mom, don't come in here. There's some bugs. And she sent me a video. And I'm like, well, if that was a text between mother and daughter, how to get all out on social media? So, boom, bye. Don't nobody believe y'all, okay? So, I thought that was incredibly rude for her to do that. So, I just, you know, I am not basket in her misfortune because when you're dealing with losing your home, it's very devastating. But I just find it ironic. Now, I believe she has like eight kids. Six for sure. But I know, no, she has, you know, yeah, I don't know, six to eight kids. But I know two of them are grown. She has two grown children that she had before she got with Corey. And at this point, I think all four of them, the two girls, Kim and Corey, need to go get jobs. And I mean, I know they have jobs that quote unquote influencers and social media probably can pay their bills, but obviously not because their house is in foreclosure and about to go on auction, go up for auction. So they obviously could use the money so that they can afford a home that they can, you know, so they can afford to move to somewhere where they can afford, okay, and downsize. Now, a lot of people are like, well, this house was like 850000 and you mean to tell me she couldn't pay it off while she got a loan? Because what's going on is that the auction, what's going on is that her house is being put up for auction because she could not pay back a loan for, I think, for, it was for $1.5 million. And a lot of people were like, well, her home was worth eight hundred and fifty when she bought it. What happened? Did, why, she didn't buy it all right? How did she get a loan and what's going on? And what I think happened was she bought the home. I believe she bought the home because if you think about it, she had tardy for the party. Her family was all making money on that little whack show. And I say whack because the ratings, the ratings spoke for themselves. I don't know how I stayed on for so many years. But however the case, at that point, she was on tardy for the party getting a consistent income. So I do believe that they were able to purchase the home. But I do believe later on down the line, they took out a loan for renovations. And when the money start drying up to cover, like I said, renovations and probably other everyday expenses. And then when it was time to pay off the loan, they couldn't do it, which is how I believe they got into the situation with, in which they're in now, where they could be facing the auction on March 7th. We shall see. Now, it's funny because Kim has been denied all of this since November. She was like, my house is in foreclosure. You guys are a bunch of haters and did a video and was just talking so much mess. And here we are again. Let's take a look, you guys. As I said, let's take a look at what Kim had to say a few months ago in regards to her home being in foreclosure. Hold on. If you guys think I would let my home that we put millions and millions of dollars into go for $257,000, you're an idiot. Okay? For real. Do y'all see that? So what are you going to do, haters, when I'm here for Christmas? And I'm here for my birthday in May. And I'm here for all these amazing dates. I'm here until I f***ing want to move out. Until I decide I don't want to live here anymore. So enjoy the view, haters. Because you're going to be seeing it for quite some time. Okay, you guys, my house was not Well, that quite some time could just be a few months. <laughs> that quite some time is just only going to be until March, okay? And I said a few months because that was back in November. So compare uh from from November to now, that turned up that turned out to be just a few months when she said to she feel it, she's gonna be there for a long time. Long time ended up being a few months. Oh, so what's going on, Kim? You decide to move? You don't feel like living there anymore? 
Or is it that your house is really going up for auction in March? Let's really see what happens with that because I I just find it ironic. I do feel bad for anyone that loses a home, rich or poor, because you know, when no matter the financial circumstance, when you lose your home, that's devastating. So I'm not here to bash her. I just find it ironic how she talked about people in their homes and the adamant denial that she had back in November. You know, had her kids running around there. I didn't I didn't show y'all that part of the video, but yeah, her kids running around like basically like, hey, I hate us, I hate us. Like, like they weren't going anywhere. Instead of trying to find a resolution to this problem. Because obviously they couldn't find a resolution because according to Fulton County documents. It's going to be up for auction on March 7th. So, Kim, what are you going to do? Like I said, I think the four adults that's living in their home need to all band together and get a job. Because, obviously, social social media influence is not paying the bills. Okay? Corey, you managing Kim's career is not paying the bills. You, gonna, you were a football player. You're an ex-NFL star. You need to go see if you can get to sports casting or whatever. Management, I don't know. But some way, somehow, you need to find a way to pay them bills. And obviously, it's not walking around and calling yourself being a kid's manager, her Uber driver, her nanny. You know, all them, all them little things that you do ain't paying the bills, okay? And matter of fact, speaking of Croy, it's a picture that I just saw on social media since... You know, news came out that their house is going off on closure. And I want to show y'all this picture real quick before we end this video. Y'all, this is Corey. Hold on. Can y'all see that? Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's Croy. Vacuuming in his underwear. And now this is after reports came out that the house was going up for auction, okay? So I'm like, instead of you showing your pale self all over social media, shouldn't you again be finding a job or trying to find a home for you guys to move into that y'all can afford? Something, something besides doing that. We don't want to see it. Unless it's a promotion for an OnlyFans, okay? Something that's going to hopefully bring you some money. We don't want to see that. And I don't even know why you that's even posted on social media. Corey and Kim, to me, just do the most random stuff instead of focusing on what's important. Your house has been reported being up for auction, and we get the back of Corey's pale behind. Make it make sense. So anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think Kim got what she was coming to her? You know, by looking her nose up at everyone else and talking about their homes when she's the one that right now could be without a home come March 7th. Do you all think that no one should glow in regards to what's going on to Kim? Do you guys think that Kim and Cora and their daughters need to find another profession to pay their bills? Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Till next time, peace. Hello.